everybody. Welcome back to the Back to Basics Weight Loss Surgery channel. My name is Jane. I am Miss Jane here on YouTube and I am your vlogger for today. I am going to be uh, concluding the week, random week, uh, about the, the Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America's meet and greet in Tampa that was held last weekend. Um, I hadn't been able to go to any meet and greets uh, in the last year due to uh, circumstances out of my control, um, but <clears throat> luckily was able to go this year, and I'm so glad I did. I took my husband, and you know, he felt like it was probably the best meet and greet he's ever been to, and uh, honestly, I, I had a really good time. I didn't get to see a lot of people. Um, I, you know, there were some people that were with their crew, so I didn't want to go and um, interrupt that. You know, I just made sure that I said hello to the people that I wanted to say hello to, especially the vloggers for this channel. And then <clears throat> I spent a lot of time uh, with my husband, <laughs> which is basically what we had wanted to do. We wanted to go hang out with some friends. But it was a trip up for us. So it was very enjoyable. So you see, if you want to go to uh, these meet and greets and uh, take a spouse, don't think that that's going to stop you from saying hello to the people you want to say hello to. Um, we, we really had a nice time, the two of us. So uh, I, I, I am so glad that I went. Um, for the meet and greet, <clears throat> I want to spend some time talking mainly about... Uh, you know, uh, about Lisa Lampanelli, I think. But first I want to say I thought the vendors were great. Everything was great. The hotel was very, very, very kind and uh, very accommodating, uh, really good customer service. Um, of course, hanging out with the people that uh, you enjoy watching, you know, people that you made friendships, which is mainly where I spent the time with people that I already have true life friendships with. And then, um, <clears throat> of course, saying hello to new people in person who I feel were friends, you know, even though it's just online. Um, it, it's always a, a very enriching experience. Um, so, I mean, that's basically why people get together in the meeting greets. Whatever anybody else says or thinks, the majority of us go to hang out with our friends. And uh, that's just the way it is. But uh, I got, I, I really enjoyed the keynote, uh, talk on Saturday morning by Carly, I mean, Carney Wilson, because I didn't get to go to Vegas and see it, <clears throat> see her talk before. So it was really interesting to hear her talk. And, um, I, you know, I, I wish the best for her. I wish the best for her. And also, uh, I want to really talk about more about Lisa Lampanelli, which seems to be a very polarizing figure in when it comes to the community. <clears throat> I'm just going to say it out there because before I went to the meet and greet, um, I really, the only exposure I had to Lisa Lampanelli was a roast that she did for, um, William Shatner. Uh, I don't know when it, when it was, I just know I saw it on, I'm not even sure if it was YouTube or Netflix or comedy central. So that was my son. Uh, we, we saw it last year, right? I think we, so that's really the only exposure I had to, um, Lisa Lampanelli. <clears throat> I, you know, I love laughing like everybody else does, but you know, I don't really spend money to go see comedians. Um, <clears throat> I just don't. Uh, but that doesn't mean that I don't enjoy them. You know, I've enjoyed them all my life. Uh, I don't, I did not, you know, I will say when I first sat down to see the show, um, I, I didn't know what to expect with Lisa because all I had seen being posted about her on Facebook and Twitter and other places were people throwing her to the dogs, really. You know, people kept saying these really vicious, ugly things about her and her humor. And so, you know, I didn't know what to expect. And, um, but I, I have a brain and, you know, you have a brain. So just because somebody tells you their opinion about something doesn't mean you cannot have your own opinion based on your own experience. And so I decided that I needed to experience it for myself.
I will say in the first five minutes, it was like shock and awe. You know, I it was like being part of a war. I, I didn't know what to think. Um, that I the language was rough, um, not because I've never heard those words or heard anybody talk like that. Because uh, I mean, I was I grew up when um, oh my god, I just went blank um, before Eddie Murphy. Holy cow! My goodness, I was just talking about him the other day. Richard Pryor. Okay, Richard Pryor, shocking language. Eddie Murphy, um, even Chris Rock in most recent uh, times. You know, I've heard this language and I've heard things said. Uh, George Carlin, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, people who have said things that are maybe not the most political correct in their stand up comedy. And, you know, comedians make their money, you know, saying that that's her job. So, in her job, I will say, you know, she was rather shocking. And um, I did notice where some people got up and left upset. In the, I mean, like in the first minute, you know, it was like not even hardly any time. They were already in her first two sentences. They had decided they were going to be offended and left. Um, I sat through it. it. I will say it was uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable. But I found the experience of listening to her was like reading a book that has illustrations. So here in the front is all the language, right? All the shocking stuff, which to me is like the pictures. And they were shocking pictures. But behind the pictures or above or below, there's a story being told. And I heard her story. And I heard her message. And it was a powerful message. Now, what she sent us uh, or gave to us was just a preview, uh, you know, an hour's worth of a show that she's taking to Broadway that's going to be three hours long. I will tell you that if she comes anywhere in Texas, you know, that's close by to us, I, I plan on going. And I plan on taking my kids. And, yeah, it's shocking. It is shocking. But, I, you know, I don't think that my children have not ever heard those things. And they'll probably find it funny. Now, I was torn between whether I should laugh or was it bad to want to laugh? <laughs> you know, so, I, you know, that was my experience, which I went up to her afterwards after it. And I told her, I said, you know, I'm very wimpy when it comes to language. And, you know, it was hard to listen to some of that stuff. You know, the shocking things, the comedy part. But the message was powerful. And her message is like our message. And it talks about people making fun of you uh, for being fat. It her message is about, um, you know, the universal message of how we feel being stuck in, uh, in our fat suits and the, you know, the decision to be free and why she chose to, you know, to have weight loss surgery and you know, why that was the, the route for her and how it works, how she has to read Janine Roth, like we do, you know, to try and work at the mental stuff, to go through the phases from infancy to the, the second adolescence that we have, you know, we're older and trying to be 20s, you know, that craziness, the confusion. She, her experiences are our experiences. They're universal. And if you got up and because you decided to be offended by her language, you missed out on a wonderful message, on a message of inclusion, you know, and a message of trying to understand that the reason she uses, you know, just like we have our fat student, we step out in it. You know, her comedy is her fat suit. It's not just physical. It's also in the way she has come out to defend her life. And it's just a really fascinating experience. You know, like I said, if she comes, I will watch her again. I, you know, I felt like I was squeamish. And so there was a lot of things that were were being thrown out that I was like, oh, you know, ouch, you know, but the message drew me. The message is strong and powerful. And the truth is that we all who are trying to, you know, maintain, you know, live a life of maintenance and uh, trying to manage our obesity, um, we can appreciate that. We are all connected. And no matter how you, what you believe or how you believe, you know, somebody should, uh, uh, be in the world and because uh, that's the one thing I will say for her and for Carney I applaud them both because they both said they get a lot of haters 
They get a lot of people that uh, criticize them, but they know what their place and their purpose is in the world. And so they have to follow the, the tune to their own piper. And if you know me, you know how important that is to me. I also, you know, march to the beat of my own drum, not to anybody else. I'm not, I'm not sheep. I don't follow other people. And I hope that you don't either. Don't be a follower. Think for yourself. Use your own brain. Uh, that's the message that I got and also uh, the message of how we're all, we're all in this together. And when we waste time tearing each other down, we are, we are wasting time. You know, we're not getting it done. Whatever you think of the WSFA, you know, and groups like them, the OAC, Obesity Help, you know, uh, the little grassroots things that are happening where people are trying to help others, you know, free themselves from obesity. Whatever you think about that, you know, that's your business. You know, I'm not in the, I don't get into the politics of that. You know, I'm not here to uh, convince you. I'm not a missionary, you know, for any association. I support who I support. My money goes to whoever I decide because I'm the one who worked for it. You know, so, and I take reviews, product reviews, uh, reviews about anybody and any anything, you know. I, I, I withhold judgment. How, you know, whether it's comedy, whether you're blogging about it, whether you're vlogging about it, the whole point is to wear, to raise awareness. And I support all of it. Nobody's perfect. No group is perfect. Lisa Lampanelli, I can see why she's a polarizing um, figure uh, and why there are people who believe that she should not be a representative of the WSFA. But I, for one, I, I enjoyed her message. I enjoyed her story. I believe this new show that she's having is going to raise awareness. Um, and I support that because there's a lot of us out there that are suffering in a fat suit. And uh, the more people talk about it, the more uh, people will see there's a way out. There's a way out from that. Whatever the choice is to get out, there is a way out. There's hope. And those of us who had weight loss surgery and who are fighting the fight, uh, we know it is a fight. But as long as we recognize that maybe the you use a boxing gloves, maybe I kick, maybe another person, uh, I don't know, does their own thing. We're all doing our own thing, but we're all wanting to get it done. That's the message I got. I enjoyed it, I, you know, and I can't wait to see her again. So that's my vlog for this week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.